Every day, a staggering amount of solid waste is generated in the world. Just consider the construction waste, a sight all too familiar to us. Traditional building methods and materials are the blame for the creation of wasted resources and environment pollution while providing comfortable shelters. An average of 500 to 600 tons of garbage is produced in every 10,000 square meters of building construction site. 7,000 to 12,000 tons of garbage will be produced while workers demolish 10,000 square meters of old buildings. Each year, such garbage occupies and pollutes 150 to 200 million square meters of land. At the same time, a large amount of energy is consumed and air quality is also adversely affected. The noise of excavators, the dust in the sky, the angularly labor of construction workers under the sun, and the congested traffic. Is solid waste really useless? The answer is no. It's simply a misplaced resource. The solid waste from steel, coal, and chemical industries, power plants, and desert sand are all resources, according to Winsun Construction Technology Shanghai Company Limited, a company that seeks to turn waste into treasures and to embrace a new era of environment protection. Wenzhan Construction Technology Shanghai Company Limited has been working on research and development of 3D printed building for 60 years with 151 national level patents to its credit. It's the world's first high-tech enterprise that has realized 3D printed buildings. Compared with traditional modes of construction, the 3D technology can turn reusable resources into treasures, thus saving tremendous manpower and materials. The National Center for the Performing Arts and the Water Cube National Aquatic Center in Beijing and Shanghai World Expo Center, the Bai International Commercial Center in Guangzhou, the Phoenix Media Beijing Building, the Apex Summit Lanshi Guest House, and the 2015 Milan Expo KIP Pavilion, the Dubai Government Office Building. More than 400 world-famous buildings in the world have adopted the Winsan 3D printing technology. A truly innovative technology will not just be confined to iconic landmarks of a country, but will also be applied to other facilities in the society at large and benefit the people. The coastlines are among the most attractive geographic features on this planet. With the 3D printing construction technology, people can use steel slag as a major raw material to print breathing components in various shapes and build rock-solid eco-friendly coastlines, which can both fend off wind and waves and accommodate creatures of all kinds. It can lead to perfect interaction with nature. Similarly, 3D printed components can be used for road paving and thus realize fabricated ecological highways. When they are used to build river banks, they are no longer lifeless concrete stuff. Solid waste such as steel slag can even be used for printing various pipelines and heterogeneous firmware for highways, high-speed railways, and better yet, as a material for mountain restoration. Along the Huangpu River in Shanghai, there stands a magic wall, 3 meters tall and nearly 200 meters long. Its construction took such a short time that one might think it's popped up overnight and better yet. It's more than just a wall. If you fill its planting through its soil, it will automatically work with a sprinkler system and turn into a noise reduction green wall. Even more amazingly, this wall was built with steel slag and coal ash from bow steel as its material. It may take about one month to build such a wall in a traditional way. However, the job was done in just three days with a 3D printing construction technology. 
This is the world's first 3D printed public toilet and is tailored for the Dayangshan Scenic Area in Suzhou. Its perfect design, green and recyclable ink, and pollution-free construction process have virtually created a man-made forest inside the toilet, comparable to the real one outside. These bus stop shelters, six tons of reusable building materials, and the two tons of scrap steel slack from bomb steel have been meticulously processed into the ink for 3D printing, transported to the sites, and made into the bus stop shelter ready for use. The environment friendly shelters are products of high technology, and their convenience is highly appreciated. At present, the 3D printed bus stop shelters have been put into use at bus stops of Fengjing No. 4 bus route in Shanghai and those in the Lanxin ancient town, Zhejiang, and elsewhere. This is a smart eco-friendly toilet built with 3D printing technology whose material comes from the scrap slack of the Jiangsu Yungang Group. The public toilet has a set of environmentally friendly recycling ecosystem. Its roof is equipped with solar panels and rainwater collection tanks. The septic tanks can handle fermentation with biological bacteria, and fermented fertilizer can be reused and applied to the soil. This 3D printed shared house is a successful attempt of Wensan and Shagang Group. It has an area of about 10 square meters and a height of 2.8 meters. Its shell structure has a perfect wind and earthquake resistance ability. All these features make it a first choice for homestays, residences, and grasslands, houses on stylish towns, and other buildings of self ownership. The shared houses have been tested in various bad weather and extreme conditions. At present, houses of this kind have been put into use in Nehe, Heilongjiang, one of the three coolest localities in the world. Up Up Mobile Apartments are the latest products developed by Winsun. The initiative was proposed by Wang Han, a well-known TV program host, and Up Up Brothers. Each apartment shipped with 3D printing technology has a bedroom, office desks, a kitchen, a bathroom, and shower facilities. At the same time, it can also be equipped with solar energy and wind power facilities and a rainwater collection system. This kind of construction can be used as hotel rooms at various scenic spots, homestays, modern agricultural station rooms, scientific research monitoring stations, among others. As a green eco-project enterprise recommended under China's One Belt and One Road, Wensan has garnered worldwide attention for its involvement in a range of projects. The mobile housing project in rural areas, municipal engineering in cities, marine ecological engineering, and zero emission beautiful house shared by the world. In October, 2017, Acom, one of the Fortune 500 companies and one of the world's top comprehensive service companies, launched the Sudo Design Bootcamp together with Winsun to encourage its young designers to provide unique solutions for the complex problems facing urban construction with the latest 3D printing of building technology. In June this year, the global executives of Sin Goben Group, a Fortune 500 company responsible for creating sustainable and comfortable buildings, also came to Winsun to learn the ink technology of 3D printing of construction. In July this year, Winsun 3D printing construction technology was adopted by the American Pneumatic Tubes in its project in the Abu Dhabi World Expo. Attracted by the company's innovative technology and advanced philosophy, four consecutive Chinese premiers have paid special attention to Winsun Construction Technology Shanghai Company Limited. On August 13, 2014, Han Deng, a current member of the Standing Committee of the Pilot Bureau, Vice Premier of the State Council, and Deputy Secretary of the Party Leadership Group, 
We visited a 3D printed building based at Dangjiang Qingpu Park in Shanghai. While he was secretary of the Shanghai Municipal Party Committee, upon seeing the integrated, eco-friendly buildings that could be continuously, efficiently printed and free from mine digging or environmental pollution, he urged Wen Sun to start commercial production of his new technological achievements as soon as possible and demanded governments at all levels support the industrialization. On May 2, 2016, Li Lanqing, the 84-year-old former member of the Standing Committee of the Politburo and a former Vice Premier of the State Council, visited Wen Sun's plant in Suzhou when the printer Lazo screened and separated the materials of the demolished buildings. He was delighted by the sight and said, I will introduce you to Shenzhen to engulf construction waste. In August 2016, the world's first 3D printed office building was completed. The project was led by the Dubai government. Wen Sai shipped the 3D printed components by sea and installed them on the site. Now the building is used as headquarters of Dubai's future museum and the well-known destination of technological innovation. Mohammed, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister, and concurrently Dubai Chief Emirate has voiced his appreciation for this technological wonder. On December 12, 2016, Former Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott expressed his appreciation for Wen Sun's technology when he met with Mr. Ma He, chairman of the company, and voiced his support for the promotion of this technology in Australia, saying he was looking forward to living in a 3D printed villa. On August 19th, 2017, in a photo exhibition before the 19th National Congress of the CPC, the first 3D printing construction machine in China able to print habitable houses made by Wen Sun was exhibited along with the latest achievements. For example, the much-hyped C919 passenger aircraft and quantum science experimental satellite Mikius. Its appearance at this showcase event meant that Wen Sun 3D printing construction technology has become a venerated achievement of the country, and the China's building technology has muscled its way to the world's forefront. On September 15, 2018, Wen Sun will launch a 3D printing cycle industrial park. The company will pull together global designers and plans to produce 1 million shared houses, 1 million internet eco-friendly toilets in 3 years, an edge tower platform for internet plus 3D printing construction technology, the demolished materials from urban buildings, waste slag from steel plants or cool slag from power plants will all be trucked into the Wen Sun 3D printing cycle industrial park to become the ink for 3D printing and then transform into lovely buildings across China. It's a general trend that obsolete modes of construction will be replaced by more energy-saving and environment-friendly smart buildings of lower carbon emission to respond to Xi Jinping's call. Environment means people's livelihood. Green Mountain is lovely and blue sky can bring tens of toy. Wen Sun is making every effort to speed up the construction of a resource-saving and environment-friendly society to promote the construction of a beautiful China and help China go further on the road of sustainable development.